Welcome to the F5 Networks Advanced Web Application Firewall Demo Series. In this demo, we'll show how to use a big IP advanced web security policy to block brute force attacks that attempt to bypass capture challenges. Before watching this demo, we recommend you watch Big IP Advanced Web Demo Number 30, which covers configuring brute force protection for attacks generated from the same source IP address. This is Demo 31 of the A Web Demo Series and it's intended for advanced level big IP advanced WEF users. For optimal viewing, we recommend using full screen mode. The environment for this demo contains three devices. A Windows workstation will be used to submit brute force attack requests that automate catcher responses. These requests will arrive at the F5 big IP system, running advanced WEF. The big IP system sits in front of, and protects, the backend web application. The big IP system, using its full proxy architecture, examines every request and can block all brute force attacks and prevent them from going to the backend web servers. Let's start by attempting a brute force attack against the hackers in web application. We'll use an iMacro in Firefox to submit the attack. Before we submit the attack, Let's examine the macro. This macro attempts to log in using different usernames from A through Z or with the password of test. Let's now run the I macro. After a few successful attack attempts, we're presented with a capture challenge. We'll enter the capture challenge. We'll now try to manually log in using the next username attempt with the same password. We'll repeat this several times. We'll now attempt to log in using the username Bob Smith with the correct password. Eventually, a malicious user using this method may successfully find valid credentials. At this point, there is no limit to the number of capture challenges that can be entered. Many malicious users employ individuals to enter these capture challenges to ensure the brute force attacks can continue until they eventually succeed. We'll now add protection against these automated capture responses. First, we'll examine the virtual server we've been attacking. This is a standard HTTP virtual server that listens on 10.1.10.43. On the virtual server security policies page, you can see that we already have a security policy attached to this virtual server named 26C, Brute, Security Policy. This security policy currently includes brute force attack protection for attacks from a single source IP address. On the brute force attack prevention page, we'll select the existing brute force configuration. 
we already configured brute force protection for the user slash login page before we started this demo. Identifying five failed login attempts from the same IP address and presenting potential malicious users with a capture challenge. The vulnerability now is that malicious users can continue to submit capture challenges and may eventually gain access to the web application with compromised credentials. We'll enable capture bypass mitigation and enter two successful capture challenges from the same IP address as the threshold. In a production environment, it would be best to leave this value set to the default value of 5. Once Big IP Advanced WEF has identified this occurrence, it can perform one of several mitigation actions. It can present the user with a Big IP Advanced WEF blocking page. It can drop the request, or it can redirect the user to a honeypot page. A honeypot page is useful, because it can fool the malicious user into thinking that brute force attack is running successfully. After two successful capture responses, from the same IP address, we'll select the alarm and honeypot page option, and then save, and apply the policy. We'll now open the security policy properties, and then examine the response and blocking pages. This is where we configure the failed login honeypot page, which we already did, before we started the demo. This honeypot page is designed to look like the real hackers and login page, although we've made a small change, so you can identify when the honeypot page is being used during this demo. We'll now run the iMacro again. After a few successful attack attempts, the malicious user receives the capture challenge. We'll enter the capture challenge. And we'll now try to manually log in using the next username attempt, with the same password. And then repeat this again. Notice that the login page now displays the text keep trying. You'll get it eventually. This is the small change we made on the Honeypot page, for the purpose of this demo. Now that we're on the Honeypot page, Big IP Advanced WEF will not send any logon attempts to the hackers in web server. Also notice that we are no longer presented with the capture challenge. We'll now run the iMacro again. The brute force attack is never blocked. But it also never succeeds, as the login requests are not going through to the hackers in web server. What's important, is that the malicious user doesn't realize that their brute force attack is no longer working. We'll now attempt to log in using the username Bob Smith, with the correct password. Even with valid credentials, this source IP address receives the honeypot page. We'll now open Internet Explorer and attempt to log in with the stolen user credentials. This web application is now fully protected from all login requests from this malicious user's IP address for 60 minutes. We'll now use a different workstation. and again attempt to log in as this user. We're successful, as the capture bypass mitigation action is only in place for the source IP address of the brute force attack. Let's examine the blocked requests in the event log. We'll first use the filter, and view only blocked requests. There are several blocked requests for the user slash login page. The violation is brute force, maximum login attempts are exceeded. Notice that the enforcement action was alarm and honeypot page. We can see that the malicious user violated the failed login threshold of 5, and also violated the threshold of 2 successful capture challenges.
Thank you for watching this demonstration on using F5 Big IP Advanced Weft to block brute force attacks that automate capture challenge responses. We encourage you to watch additional AWEF demos, and for more details on how Advanced Weft can protect your web applications, contact your F5 Network's sales account manager. For questions or comments about this video, contact Chris Manley at the email address at the bottom of the page.